Hello, Mike Robinson here. I want to discuss with you today on becoming a better technician. Um, this is a personal passion of mine. I do a lot of training on my own time. Um, I'm always testing my tools, knowing the capabilities, and I'm, I'm not saying I'm the best technician in the world by far from it. Um, there's a lot of technicians out there that are better than me, but to become the top of your game takes time and commitment. You will see every te technician out there that's, you may look up to, you may not. They're spending time in training. They're, they know their tools the capabilities of their tools, whether it's OE or aftermarket. Yes, even OE tools have their limits. Um, they give you a lot of information, but they can't test that circuit. That comes down to you. And the one of the most important tools is your brain. Uh, you really need to take care of that, get proper sleep, whatever it takes um, to give you comfort and not stress. Uh, when I say come to know your tools, I mean knowing what your test lights draw, how much current does that draw on a circuit that you're testing, that you replace that. You replace that load with your test light to test if that circuit's good. Is it matching the current demands that that original device requires? If not, then the test really is not 100%. Um, I see a lot of people get burned on that. Yeah, I tested power and grounds. Um, yeah, but did you test it with 10 amps like that fuel pump circuit takes normally? Um, or did you use a 100 milliamp test light? Uh, Brian Coata at Train by Tex uh, does a great video on that, demonstrating voltage drops. Um, he uses different loads, substituted loads to test that circuit. So be sure to check that out. That's a great video. But know your tools, whether it's a scan tool, OE, or aftermarket. Aftermarket, there's tools different tools have different capabilities um so if you are using aftermarket tools which i understand not everybody can have oe for every vehicle make they make or repair i get it um but you should have oe for your top vehicles that you repair and then the aftermarket and kind of fill kind of fill in for the ones that you may see on occasion but know the limits of the tool and have more than one aftermarket tool uh, if you're running aftermarket tools i personally like the autel and the launch um the launch does a heck of a lot and so does autel Altel seems to be losing functionality, uh, unfortunately, as it updates. And I think that's because of their other line. Um, that's more specific to the mobilizer side. But that's why you got to know what the limits of your tool are. Um, each update may change your tool. So what I personally do... And I don't use an aftermarket tool a whole lot anymore um, for the pure fact that I have access to OE tools. And what we do here um, with the company I work for is we provide a service. Um, so we use the best tools possible for that make, which is the OE tool. Uh but I do still, on occasion, mainly for my personal vehicles, use an aftermarket tool. 
I know the capabilities, what they can and cannot do. And that's very important. Whether it's a scope, I mean, it could be a scope. You need to know the limits of that scope. As the sample, is the um, circuit you're testing too fast for your scope? Uh, not everybody can have a Pico scope. Uh, luckily, I've been supplied a Pico scope, and I used to have my own Pico scope. It's one of the best scopes out there. Uh, another one out there is ATS. I haven't ever personally used one. I would like to get my hands on one and, um, you know, see what it's capable of. Knowing your tools, I do have a use scope also um, that comes in handy. I do not use a multimeter all that much. Um, bow charts like to give you resistance checks, but if it's having you check resistance, that means you can check. In another way, you can check current and you can check voltage. Um, so there's usually always another test that can be performed instead of using the resistance um, tests as they want you to do on hook it and measure the resistance. Uh, yeah, I'd like to find another way that can test that circuit that's loaded and will give me a result that I can rely on. Um, resistance is not necessarily the best test. Sometimes you have to use it. Um, I try to minimize it, but that again comes back to knowing your tool and what your tools can provide you for information. Scope is a very powerful tool. Knowing how to use it, knowing all the functionalities of it, you're not going to become a scope master in a day. Um, I certainly am not a scope master by any means. I learn something new all the time. But I use my tools. I use them a lot. Um, whether just for fun, playing around, learning, or in the real world. Um, another thing that gets brought up a lot that I hear is known goods um use it on an own good that's what i do i still do that um that is absolutely a true statement using it on a known good and learning how that circuit works learning the ins and outs of different tests you can do on it um using the tool to its full capabilities sharing the waveforms, whether it's as simple as, you know, taking a screen capture or saving a file, learn how to do each one of them um, because everybody needs help. Uh, I don't care if you're the grandmaster, there's always something to be learned. Um, this field is ever changing. So knowing your tools and their capabilities is, I'd say, a number one game changer. Uh, you start knowing the limits of your tools, then maybe now instead of picking up a tool that might not give you as many answers as, say, number B tool, you might go, instead of going from A to B, you might go directly to the B tool. That's going to give you more information, faster, more accurate, and save a lot of time. Um, and I know employers aren't, not all employers are great about sending their guys to training. Um, that really needs to change. If you're a shop that's not sending your guys to training, you are limiting yourself and limiting limiting your technicians to what can be done in your shop. Um, and it's really a shame that you would 
put a few dollars over making your technicians better for your customers, getting them cars right, um, getting more quality repairs out your bay doors, um, training, training, training. Sorry about the interruption. Uh, <clears throat> but anyways, my point is get the training. I know it costs. I know it takes your time, but it's well worth it. You might have make more money. You're going to have to attend training. Um, tools. Really, the shop should be supplying scan tools. Like I said, be best to have for your top one or two car lines having the OE tool. If you can do three, get three, obviously. Um, and if you're running aftermarket tools, definitely have more than one. Bosch is making a decent looking scan tool from what I can see. Uh, have not personally used it. Uh, the Maco scan tool is launch um, rebranded uh, so decent tool there I believe the Max have gone over to the launch line um, I haven't used a recent Mac scan tool um, I know their past ones were Bosch relabeled Bosch uh, and they definitely had some holes in that um, scan tool where more than one scan tool was uh, definitely needed but uh, yeah that's all become better um, everybody can improve from you know whether you're doing oil changes currently to doing full-time diagnostics there's always room for improvement uh, there's always something new to learn and I've learned a lot over the past um, several months being where I'm at now where I'm seeing brand new cars uh, I mean some of these cars are been wrecked with 30 something miles on them so to figure out what the problem is um, sometimes the service information isn't quite there yet but using previous knowledge of learning uh, at training events has really helped in that area but uh, hope to see you guys at Super Saturday that'll be one of the next events that I will be at um, I look forward to it every year uh, a lot of the other train by tax guys will be there so if you guys have questions uh, come see us we're always here to help improve this industry um, we all have a very deep passion for it uh, it helps feed our families um, so all right hope to see you there hope you like the video um, I plan on getting back into doing some of the scope videos and such um, as I can. Um, making more time to, you know, because not only do the videos assist you, but they also keep me um, up to date uh, with the tool as updates roll out. Um, I've been beta testing Pico 7 at this point I would not recommend updating to that um, it's not even available update to yet but um, hopefully with these beta tests uh, we will see the improvement in the software that's needed um, I know software development takes time um, so Alright, and if you're not signed up for Diagnostic Network, get signed up. Um, 
There's a good resource there.